health education. And this is a quote that seemed very relevant to what we're doing. And it's from uh, James Baldwin stated this, not everything that is faced can be changed, but nothing can be changed until it is faced. Good afternoon, everybody. Um, back in the early spring, we had the opportunity to apply for a SAMHSA grant, which focused on EMS. It focused on training rule EMS as far as relating to substance abuse and mental health response. So when we built this grant, the purpose was to try to, one, go ahead and train and educate our current providers on staff but to also create a program which I'm very excited about, a community paramedicine program. So with this grant funding, we were approved on August 5th for $199,000. Um, with this grant, we're gonna to try to initiate a community paramedic program to assist the public in primary health care, providing preventative mental health and substance abuse education plus resources for the underserved population within the county. The community paramedic will play a major role in field response to connect individuals with substance abuse issues to resources. We're hoping that this program will be a bridge and help to get the education and information out to folks. So it's gonna be vitally important that this community paramedic, once they're in place, will be a part of the task force. And we want them working very closely with East Point, very closely with DreamWorks, very closely with any type of resource so we can coordinate this thing and have a good positive impact. Um, also with this funding is uh, money to train our EMS folks on mental health, diseases, substance abuse, crisis intervention response, and advanced medical life support. We have seen, as far as in the EMS world, from January through August, a 28% increase in overdoses as compared to January through August of 2019. We've seen a 28% increase. In the last 60 days, heroin has been the major drug of choice we've seen. We're having to give more Narcan. I can say personally on several calls I've been on, we're giving up to four to six milligrams of Narcan now to reverse folks because of heroin. Um, me personally, I attribute some of it to COVID-19 and, 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 and some of that stuff, but it's, it's alarming. And, and we're hoping with this funding that this community paramedic can help with this. This program, there's several counties that does have this program. Oslo County is one very successful. In fact, their community program, excuse me, community paramedic program is to the point where they're actually giving Suboxone in the field. Um, it was accredited nationwide. They were just recognized at the EMS World Competition here a couple months ago. McDowell County has a successful community paramedic program, same thing. Its focus is on mental health and substance abuse. So I'm hoping with this grant funding, we may be able to get this thing initiated and start seeing some reversal. I'm hoping that we can get this 28% increase down by next year this time and, and start affecting numbers even better than that. As far as law enforcement, I can say our law enforcement partners have been a big, big help. I know of 18 calls so far that they have used Narcan and it has been successful in reversing. Um, my office is currently tracking right now six deaths related to narcotics. So that's my excitement is this grant and I'm hoping between the training for the field personnel and the initiation of this community pro um, paramedic program, we can really put a big dent and make a difference in this. So at some point I will probably be reaching out to different sectors of the task force to try to meet once we have identified who our community paramedic is and before they start the training process because we're hoping to have this program up and running by mid-January. Thank you. Any questions? <laughs>